In today's video, we're going to talk about some tips to design and optimize a mobile-friendly e-commerce website. Your first priority before anything else should be to make sure your website is optimized for mobile visitors. Even after you launch your app, and even if your app ends up being successful, you'll still get a lot of mobile visitors, new and returning. You should still offer these people the best user experience possible, and it'll be easier to convert your site into an app if it's already been optimized for mobile. So don't skip the step just because you plan on launching an app. A mobile-friendly website is easy and intuitive to browse on mobile, responsive to different devices and screen sizes, and optimized to hold attention and convert mobile visitors. It should also feel like it's made for mobile users, as opposed to being a desktop site converted to mobile. That's why it might be a good idea to design your site for mobile first, or at least design your mobile UI separately from desktop. Some key elements that make a website mobile friendly are clear images, easy to read text, optimal use of white space, key information such as images, product details, pricing, and call to actions, smooth, fast navigation, a simple intuitive checkout flow, UX designed for touchscreens, and don't forget about easily clickable buttons and elements, particularly on touchscreens, and few text inputs and forms, and minimal pop-ups. You'll want to check off all these key elements when designing your mobile web experience. Then ensure you actually test it on a real mobile device to find out any bugs, usability issues, or anything else making it a suboptimal experience on mobile. Now this is a must for any e-commerce site, whether or not you plan to launch an app. Let's talk about how to choose the right solution to convert your e-commerce store into an app, and there are three ways to do it. First is use a managed service like MobiLoud. Second is use native development, which is hiring developers to code your app. And last is use a no-code app builder and do it yourself. To pick the one that is best for your business, you'll need to consider several factors and their importance in your particular situation. These include the budget you have to work with, your desired time frame to launch, complexity and feature set you'll need from your app, which platforms you want to launch on, your technical skills, yourself or your team, how much time you want to spend on the project, and how much can you afford to spend on maintenance and reoccurring costs post-launch. Now let's go through the options in more detail. Native development is the most custom, powerful option. However, it's also the most costly and time-consuming. You can expect to pay five to six figures to build your app, and the project will take at a minimum a few months to get an initial version ready for testing. It'll also cost more in reoccurring costs as you'll need to pay developers to maintain the app and keep it up to date. No-code app builders are the cheapest way on the surface, however, they're also the least flexible and make it hard to build a professional, unique, feature-rich app. You should also consider that though the cost of using a no-code app builder may be low, you or your team needs to do all the work. Ensure you take the extra time investment into account. Now let's talk about a managed service. A managed service is the best value and the best mix of power, flexibility, convenience, and affordability. A service like MobiLoud allows you to fully convert your website into an app, retaining all the features and design of your website with minimal time investment. The cost is more than a simple no-code app builder, but significantly less than native development. The time frame to launch is also attractive, allowing you to launch a professional functional app in under a month. This is also the best option when it comes to reoccurring costs with a cheap and predictable subscription that covers maintenance and updates. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you learned something. As always, my name is Jamarco and I will see you in the next video.